So yeah, <laughs> my name is Fernando and I wanted to be a biologist since that very day. <laughs> According to my parents, I, I, I was scared of the beach, I hated the sun, I, I wouldn't leave my towel for anything in the world except when I saw a, a little insect running by and then apparently I forgot all my fears and I jumped into the unknown and, and, and I haven't stopped running after animals since that day. So, so of course I ended up studying biology. And by the end of my undergrad, I started looking for jobs and, and surprisingly, I, I found out that there were many, many jobs. So I thought, oh, maybe it's a good idea that but I create a blog and, and share all of these job offers with all, all everyone to see. And that's how in 2004, Biologia was created. And I never put a lot of effort in it. It, it just kept on growing, uh, just keeping it updated. Uh, and for those interested, those are the, the stats of the, the last 30 days. But the important thing is, is that soon, soon after uh, creating the blog, I started receiving many, many questions of, uh, related to, to the biology profession. So people wanted to know what, how to do things in biology. Mm, so then after a while, when I noticed that these questions started repeating, I, I started posting them in the, in the blog. And, and that's really when everybody started visiting and I got a lot of questions and more questions. Even though what I wanted is, is to write less emails. <laughs> <laughs> so, so the good thing, I mean, it's a lot of work, but, but I enjoy it a lot. I learn a lot and, and I can see very interesting trends. For example, it, it seems that, at least in my case, girls seem to be much more interested in biology than guys, or at least they are much more proactive and they dare to ask questions. And, and the question they ask about is, is about problems that, that I or probably everybody had 10 years ago when we were in the undergrad. And I still have them. <laughs> and usually they, they, are, uh, they belong to these three groups. So, so the first ones, for example, they don't know what to do. They, they like biology, but they are not sure if they will find a job. They, they are hoping for a true vocation, for, for something that they, they will really like. And to them, I tell them that, that they just need to try something. And then usually the best um, vocations are those that, that you practice. Those are the, the strongest in the end. And, and <laughs> then we have the opposite, the opposite side. People that have such a specific goal that they, they get frustrated they, when they cannot get to that goal. So for example, they want to be the person that they takes care of the gorillas at the zoo. And of course, that's fantastic because a goal, a specific goal lets you, it's, it's very useful to, to, pa to plan your path. But if you get frustrated, what you can do is, is to give a try to other things because everything can get interested after digging a bit. And also, after a while, if, if you do get your, uh, uh, reach your goal, the problem is that it can get really boring. For example, cleaning the enclosures of the gorillas <laughs> at the zoo. <laughs> Finally, I, I get very often questions about where to study this or that, or, or what's the best uh, master's in conservation I can do? And I said, mm, I don't know, what, what do you want the master's for? And, and very often they, they haven't really thought that far. So, so what I tell them very often is think if there is a faster cheaper or altogether better way to get the experience or the contacts you need to get the job you like. And maybe it's not the master's, maybe it's just a volunteering opportunity or something like that. And I received many, many more questions. And most of them I have no clue about because after all, I'm still learning how to be a biologist. <laughs> so if you have a similar audience, uh, I, would like, I would love to talk to you. And also, I would like to learn video editing. And, and I keep on looking for animals, so if any, anyone wants to go birding or herping tomorrow, I will love to. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you so much. Thank you.